everyone is afraid of physics people say it's one of the most difficult subjects ever some students don't understand the concept some students don't understand the questions while some students understand everything but can never solve even one question why is physics so difficult or maybe it's not Hello everyone, welcome back and if you are new here, my name is Tarun and I recently graduated from IIT Kharagpur and I fell in love with physics before 12 years when I was in class 6. Reading books like Halliday Resnick Walker, Hetsi Verma and Singage used to be one of my most favourite hobbies ever and back then my aim was to frame 5 questions which even my teachers won't be able to solve. So right from then to graduating from IIT Kharagpur with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and a master's degree in manufacturing sciences, I read books after books and solved questions after questions and I just love physics. So let me tell you in the next 8 minutes of your life, I'll make you fall in love with physics and most importantly will give you a step by step guide to master it. Let's start. So first things first in the next 7 minutes we'll discuss why everyone feels physics is very difficult, why is it not and how you can become a pro at it. What is the exact step by step method to learn any physics chapter more efficiently. And then if you are a JE aspirant what are the most important chapters that you should solve first in order to score your best in JE mains and in JE advanced. And finally we'll end this video with one of the biggest blunders that most of the JE aspirants commit which you should definitely avoid. This video is going to be epic, let's start. First why does everyone feel physics difficult? Simple, because it's being taught in the wrong way and it's being learned in the wrong way. Most people just say this is the axiom, this is the theorem, this is the derivation, this is the formula that you should remember for the exam. But when a student actually goes to the exam, he wouldn't know what formula to use and most importantly he wouldn't understand why that exact formula is being used over there. It's like people just forget the missing piece which makes a physical chemistry question different from a physics question in JE Advanced. The logic. So moving to the next point, how can you become a pro at it? I'll prove this point with an example in the next one minute but first the method is simple. Instead of learning and mugging up all the formulas in a chapter, just learn the basic formulas, the basic theorems and the basic derivations in any chapter because these are the most important things while learning any concept. Now the next skill that you should develop before solving any question in physics is to read and understand the question well. If you can break down the entire question into parts and apply some basic concepts between them you are more than halfway done with solving the question. Now the last step to be able to solve any question in physics is to become a pro at mathematics. Because at a higher level every physics problem tends to become a maths problem. So you will need to become good at maths in order to be a pro at physics. That's it, if you can get these three basic things right, you are all sorted. And to prove this point, let's take a small example question. This was the question which was being asked in JE Advanced 2023 and let me actually show you how easy it is. All we'll use is some basics and some logic. So here's the question. A bar of mass M and length L is lying on a horizontal frictionless surface. One end of the bar is pivoted at a point about which it is free to rotate. A small mass M is moving on the same horizontal surface with a velocity V0 on the path perpendicular to the bar. It hits the bar at a distance of L by 2 from the pivoted end and returns back on the same path with the speed V. After this elastic collision, the bar rotates with the angular velocity omega. Which of the following is correct? So here we basically need to find the final velocity of the ball and the angular velocity of the rod. Right? So let's just go by the basics. So they gave that this is an elastic collision, which means energy is not lost. So energy is conserved over here. And then we have the next thing, which is linear momentum. Is it conserved? No, it's not because there's a reaction force, right? When you're hitting this, there's a reaction force over here, which means there's an external force onto the system. And what about angular momentum with respect to the point P? Is it conserved? Yes, it is. Why? Because the torque across the point P is zero. So if the torque is zero, it means the angular momentum with respect to this point is conserved. So that's it done. First we'll conserve the angular momentum with respect to the point P, which means initial angular momentum of the ball with respect to point P plus initial angular momentum of the rod which is zero is equals to final angular momentum of the ball plus final angular momentum of the rod with respect to point P. From there we'll get the equation number one and then we'll conserve the total energy of the system. And from there we'll get the equation number two. So once we got these two equations, it's just mathematics after that. It's a very simple question if you know the basic definitions of momentum, force, angular momentum and torque. And this is the question asked in JE Advance 2023. So that is it. It's simple. Basic concepts and formulas plus some basic logic plus mathematics is the way to succeed in physics. And now as you got a proper clarity about why people find physics difficult and how can you become a pro at it, now let's discuss the step by step method in order to become a pro at any chapter in physics in the next one minute. And then we'll talk about the most important chapters for JE mains and JE advanced. 
चलो लेट स्टार्ट दिस इज द एक्जैक्ट स्टेप बाई स्टेप ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ इट द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू स्टार्ट रीडिंग एन सी आर टी इवन बिफोर यू लिसन टू द क्लास दिस सेट ऑफ द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट जनरेट्स इंटरेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो रेज अ सम प्रिलिमिनरी क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड द सेकंड स्टेप इज टू लिजन टू योर क्लासेस एंड ऑल द क्वेश्चन विच आर बीन रेज इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप विल बी आंसर इफ यू लिजन टू योर क्लास एस वेल सी नव इफ यू जस्ट हैव थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स लेफ्ट आई एम सो सॉरी बट यू वन बी एबल टू फिनिश द फर्स्ट टू स्टेप्स सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट स्किप बोथ ऑफ दैम एंड जस्ट वॉच वन शॉर्ट लेक्चर्स ऑन यूट्यूब फॉर एवरी चैप्टर दैट्स द ओनली थिंग दैट यू कैन डू प्रॉपरली सो वन सी डन विद स्टेप वन एंड स्टेप टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू सॉल्व सम एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इधर हेची वर्मा सिंगेज और फिजिक्स गैलेक्सी एंड देन सॉल्व एटी टू नाइनटी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ईच चैप्टर फोर्टी इजी थर्टी मीडियम एंड फिफ्टीन डिफिकल्ट इधर फ्रॉम योर स्टडी मटीरियल और फ्रॉम एनी अदर स्टैंडर्ड बुक एंड फाइनली सॉल्व सम प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन एंड यूल बी गुड टू गो इफ यू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स राइट यू बी एबल टू फिनिश योर जे मेन्स का प्रिपेरेशन इन समथिंग अराउंड थ्री टू थ्री एंड हाफ मंथ्स एंड एंड ऑफ स्कोरिंग समवेर अराउंड एटी प्लस मार्क्स इन फिजिक्स and you'll take something around 6 to 7 months for your jeep advanced preparation and end up scoring something around 60% to 70% this is my guarantee so now before we end this video let's look at some of the most important chapters both for jeep mains and jeep advanced so that you can start your preparation in the right direction set your priorities in the right direction this slide that you see on the screen right now is for jeep mains take a screenshot of this right now because it is going to be very useful going forward and for jeep mains i'd say semiconductors communication systems em waves and experimental physics are some of the easiest and most important chapters that you should definitely finish you can easily answer four to six questions if you know this concepts well through ncert and this slide that you see on the screen right now is for je advanced take a screenshot of this this has the easy medium and most difficult chapters which also have heavy weightage in je advanced start from the easy chapters because that will give you the initial momentum and will also help you build confidence in you got it physics is easy all you need to do is to get the basics right and apply some logic for example in mechanics things like where is the force acting is there friction over there is the energy conserved is the linear momentum conserved is the angular momentum conserved these are some of the basic things that you should always look at if you get these things right while solving questions you're all sorted stop getting scared of physics man just get the basics right and solve 50 to 100 questions in each chapter and eventually you'll become the best in your class and one of the biggest mistakes that students do while learning physics concepts is they just read the concepts they reread again and they reread the theory again and again and again but they don't realize that it doesn't help you need to practice you need to solve as many questions as possible only then you'll succeed else everything all the theorems all the concept that you are reading 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 re reading again and again and again it's all in vain so with that being said change your perspective towards learning physics that's the key to success and that is all for this video if you do whatever i told you in this video right and if you have some patience you'll be unstoppable and the next video is about photographic memory you have been waiting for it i have been waiting for it let's wait for it i'll see you soon bye bye love you